So, today in this chapter, we will learn to answer the question how many and how we are going to answer this question how many by counting and how do we count? Suppose I ask you how many sticks are there. So, what will happen? We will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we will say 5 sticks or 5 is the number of sticks. Similarly, if we again ask you how many, then I have increased the number of sticks here now and then we say how many, then how you will do? You will count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are 8 sticks. So, we have answered the question how many by counting. Now, let us let us count further and say how many are these sticks. I have what I have done is I have put a bundle of 10 sticks also here. And so, if I ask you now how many sticks are there now, how you will find out? How you will answer this question? This is a bundle of 10. So, we will start counting forward from 10th. So, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. So, in answer to the question how many sticks, we will say there are 18 sticks here and suppose I remove some sticks here. I have removed some sticks here and now I ask you again how many sticks are there now. So, how you are going to find out? You will again start, you look at individual sticks, how many are these? 1, 2, 3, 4 and there is a bundle of 10 sticks also. So, we will say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, in response or in answer to the question how many, we will say there are 14 sticks. Similarly, if I take another bundle of 10 sticks and now I have changed the number of sticks and now if I ask you to count or answer the question how many sticks are there now, how you are going to do it? You will say yes, there are sticks, two sticks, two bundle of 10 sticks and there are 1, 2, 3 loose sticks. So, it means we can say there are 10, 20, 21, 22, 23 or 23 sticks. And then how we are going to write 23? Again, so it is 2 tens, so we will write 2 here and 3 loose sticks or 3 ones, so we will write 3. So, the number 23 will consist of 2 digits 2 and 3. So, let us try another number or another set of matchsticks where we are trying to now here. Let us look at this. How many matchsticks are there now on the table and how you are going to write it? Both questions we will have to answer. So, let us say we will count one bundle of 10, another bundle of 10, another bundle of 10. So, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 
35. So, it means they in response to the question how many sticks then we will say there are 35 sticks. We will speak there are 35 sticks and how we are going to write 35? How many, how many bundles are there? 3 bundles. So, we will write 3 tens and 5 ones. Therefore, we will write 3 5, 35. This way we have to write and speak the numbers by counting by for answering the question how many. Let us now look at some malas and motis which are there and count them and try to answer the questions how many. Okay. Let us look at the picture of these strings and beads or moti and malas. So, these are how many motis are there or how many beads are there. So, we will count first how many groups of tens or how many malas or how many strings of tens. So, 1, 2, 3, 3 strings of tens or we can say 10, 20, 30 and how many loose beads or motis? We have 1, 2. So, we can say these are 32, 31, 2, 32 and how we are going to write it? 3 tens, so 3 on the left and 2 ones, 2 on the right. So, it will be 32 that way. Let us look at another group of things and try to answer how many. Here we have can you answer by counting the question how many? So, let us first count how many strings or malas are there which consist of 10 beads or 10 motis. So, 1, 2, 3 and how many loose beads or motis are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, these are 9. So, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So, it means if you want to respond to or answer the question how many? There are 39 motis or beads. It means we have here 39 beads shown and but how do we write it now? How many tens are there? 3. So, we write 3 tens and how many ones are there? We there are 9 ones, so we write 9. So, we write 39 as 3, 9. Similarly, answer now by counting how many motis or beads are there. Let us count first the string of beads which have tens or malas which have 10 beads. So, 10, 20, 30, 40. It means 40 beads are there in strings of 10 and then how many loose beads? 1, 2, 3, 40, 3, 41, 42, 43 and how we are going to write? 4 tens and 3 ones. So, we are going to write 4, 3, 43 and that way we will answer the question how many. Let us look at another picture where there is no bead loose or there is no moti which is loose. 
Let us look at next picture please. Yes, here you see only strings or malas of tens are there. It means there is no ones. So, we will count to answer the question how many we will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and there is no loose bead. So, we will stop at 50. Now, the question is how do we write 50? We can speak 50 by counting tens that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, but how do we write 50 is the question. Now, for writing 50, we will count the number of tens. So, number of 10 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 tens and how many ones? There is no ones. So, we will write 0 for the ones. So, we will write 5, 0 for 50. So, we have learnt how to write numbers and how to answer the question how many. Now, let us find out if this banana has a value of 1 rupees or it can be purchased by giving 1 rupees, how many 3 bananas would cost is the question. And so, one banana 1 rupee, another banana 1 rupee, another banana 1 rupee that way we have 1, 1, 1 or we have 1, 2, 3. It means these 3 bananas will cost us 3 rupees. So, it is very easy and now you have to look at this number and answer try to answer this question how do you speak this number? What is this number? How do you speak this number? Yes, so on the left there is 1, so it means in this number there is 110 and 5 ones. So, 1 tens means 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So, we will speak this number as 15. It is very that way easy because you have to first count the number of tens and then count number of ones and then speak them together. In this number, how many tens are there? Yes, there are two tens and how many ones are there? Four ones. So, let us say count two. Two tens means 10, 20 and count forward four. So, 21, 22, 23 and 24. So, this number will be spoken as what? 24. It is so easy to speak, so easy to compare. Now, let us compare these two numbers. Which one is bigger? The number on the left, how many tens it has? And number on the right, how many tens it has? And then you compare and then you start talking about which one has more or which one is less. So, this number has got 1 10 and this number on the right has got 2 tens. It means number of number on the right with the girl has more is more is bigger than the number. Now, let us speak and complete the sentence. So, 2 tens and 6. So, 2 tens means 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 and 26. So, this number is 26 and the other number is 10, 11, 
12, 30. So, 26 is bigger than 30. We will say this way the sentence. When we compare numbers, we talk about numbers like this. Now comes the interesting part of this lesson. Here is the interesting part of the lesson that by using your skill of counting, you have to create a story out of these pictures. So, you first count the number of goats in first picture and you count the number of goats in the second picture and you count the number of goats in the third picture and then you start thinking of a story. Okay, how many pictures were brown, how many goats were brown and how many goats were black and what were they doing and how, where did they go and finally, what they wanted to do and so on and so forth. Why do not you look at these pictures carefully in your textbooks and try to make a story out of it. You can make an interesting story. And there are two examples given in your textbooks. Another one is of a child. Here is a child making the basket. So, now you have to make up a story about this child. This child's name is Billu. So, you can ask questions, what Billu is doing? How many baskets Billu is making? How many baskets Billu is able to sell? And so on and so forth and try to answer the questions which starts with the word how many, kitne in Hindi and how many in English. So, try to answer the questions how many around you in your daily life and by counting of course and by saying the number in response to the questions how many. 